Here are solutions to homework set number 12 for ECE 463-663 Modern Control. This homework looks at LQG LTR feedback. The idea is I have a reference model. This defines how the system should behave. Force the plan to behave like the reference model. And to do that, I'm going to use LQR control. I'm going to take the augmented system, plant plus reference model, take the difference in the two outputs, E, and weight E. So it's going to come up with the optimal feedback based upon minimizing the input and the difference between the two outputs. So first off, I'll define the reference model to be underdamped system. Uh, so let's see. So there's the dynamic system. So 8, eight seconds settling time, 4% of pursuit. From the augmented system, there's the plant reference model, input to the plant, input to the reference model, and the output is the difference between the two outputs. Now using LQR feedback, if I weight the weighting on Q by 100, 1000, and 10,000, um, here's what you get. So if the weighting on Q is 100, here is the reference model. So there's your Y for the model. Here's Y. And the DC gain is at 1, because I have optimal trade-off. What input do I need? Keep that small. And I'm allowed a little bit of error. The trade-off is your know, paper cost function. 100D squared plus U squared. If I increase the weighting to 10 to the 4th, I get better tracking. And 10 to the 6th, again, still steady state error. DC gain is at 1. I can adjust the DC gain just by throwing in R times a constant, you shift everything up by 1. Um, but that's generally how it behaves, and it won't be exact. Again, this is a fourth order system with under damping, it's a second order reference model. I can't force a fourth order system to behave like the second order system, not exactly. Plus, they can't behave the same because this is a current pendulum, when I go left, I first have to go right, get it to lean, then come over. Uh, let's see. Problem 3 says, okay, now let's add a servo compensator. What the servo compensator does is it forces the steady state error to zero. So I now form the system, the reference model, the plant, and integrate the two, the difference between the two. What that does is that steady state, z has to be constant, so z dot right here has to be zero. If z dot is zero, then y equals y model. DC gain guaranteed is one. Now, come up with the optimal feedback gains, doing the loop transfer recovery, where I want to minimize, you know, drive this guy to zero quickly without using too much input. So the first approach is form the augmented system. Here's the plant, the reference model, the correction, plant, servo compensator, reference model, input from U, input from R, and here's my full state feedback. If I make Q, and it's actually Z squared, 100 Z squared, 1000 Z squared, 10,000 Z squared. At 100 Z squared, again, here's the model, here's the plant. Say fourth order plant, second order model, they're not going to behave the same. I could do better if I changed the reference model, made it also fourth order. But for this whole market, I didn't do that. Uh, plus, the plant has undershoot, again, Current pendulum to go left, I gotta go right, get it to lean, then come over. Crank up the gain to 10 to the fourth, better tracking. 10 to the sixth, almost dead on. And that's kind of the idea behind LQG LTR. I can find the reference model pretty much any way I want. And then I then force the plant to follow that reference model. And that's kind of a neat way to do feedback control. I'll, if I want to change how I want it to behave, just change the reference model. So that's the last homework set for monitoring control. Uh, another tool in your arsenal, I can use full state feedback using pole placement, full state feedback using LQR techniques. I can use servo compensators. I can use observers if I can't measure all the states. And we finally have another one, LQG LTR, define a reference model that defines how it should behave, have the plant behave like the reference model. And that's homework set 12 for 463 modern control.